In the wake of the Texas shooting, concerns over school safety on the minds of parents and families all across the country, including here in Wisconsin. Arlene Rojas Castillo joins us live this morning from the Zeidler Municipal Building in downtown Milwaukee with more on this. Good morning, Elaine. Good morning, Tom and Susan. We're here downtown right near the Zeidler Municipal Building, where as you can see behind me, the flags are being flown at half staff in honor of the victims of the Texas shooting. The organization Students Demand Action is hosting a national walkout today to try to encourage lawmakers to change some of the nation's gun laws. Here in Wisconsin, leaders from different school districts had the ability to update their school district, pardon me, their safety and security guidelines about four years ago. But with the shooting on everyone's minds this week, questions on whether that was enough loom. Now, after the Parkland, Florida shooting in 2018, Wisconsin gave out $100 million in grant money to almost every single school district in our state to, in the hopes of them potentially affecting or changing their security and safety measures. But that was only a one-time decision. Now, out of the, during the school, or sorry, <coughs> pardon me, during the spring election season this year, 10 out of the 81 school referendums that were on the ballot dealt with school and safety issues. And out of those 10, four didn't pass. Now, when it comes to safety throughout our state, the Department of Public Instruction said that school districts across the country are doing everything that they can to try to make sure that what happened in Texas doesn't happen here. We know that they are having trouble figuring out how do we do these our budgets knowing that we did not get the increase we requested in the biennial budget last time. And does that mean that there are going to be cuts to programs that need to be there for mental health services, for school safety, for staffing like student services to help with ongoing processing of trauma? It, it does mean those things. Now, while the school district is winding down, summertime could be a time when school districts across our state try to reevaluate their decisions when it comes to safety and security protocols. But right now, there isn't anything officially on the books when it comes to that matter. So for now, we're just going to have to wait and see. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Elaine Rojas Castillo, TMJ4 News.